Most have heard by now that the Great Reset is upon us. But what is the Great Reset exactly? And what does it mean for the future of humanity? The Great Reset is the latest rebranding of the New World Order agenda and its vision for post-human fourth industrial revolution. Hola from Colombia. With the present great world confusion, I wish to do my part to accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. Please help by subscribing and sharing these videos. Thank you. Klaus Schwab, the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, announced the Great Reset Initiative from the World Economic Forum in June of 2002. He said, COVID crisis showed us that our old systems are not fit anymore for the 21st century. The old systems show fundamental lack of social cohesion, fairness, inclusion, and equality. Now is the time to create the post-COVID era. We have a choice to make. To remain passive, which will amplify many of the negative trends we see today with increased social unrest and conflicts. But we have another choice. We can build a new social contract and make sure that the technology of the fourth industrial revolution is best utilized to provide us with better lives. I'm not sure if this statement is hilarious or absolutely terrifying. I lived a very challenging week because I was forced to face a basic truth. My very close family members are completely asleep and even a bomb under their so far comfortable bed would not wake them up at this time. I was very hopeful with the events of COVID. I felt the truth was now so obvious because so many people lost their jobs and these jobs are not coming back. And therefore, these sleepers would be shot into awakening. No such luck. The sleepers continued to sleep and I was bluntly told not to send them any information anymore. They are tired of me trying to convince them of my opinion. I recognize that I have to let go of my family attachments. I also know that the family attachments are the deepest and most deeply rooted attachments because family is the foundation of the survival of the human species. Our survival program is extremely strong and the unconscious human, the one that does not remember who he is, will do anything it takes, and I mean anything, to save his children because that is how the human species can be maintained. The unconscious person, the white sheep, which is still right now at least 90 to 95 percent of humanity, will sell their soul and accept the mark of the beast just so that they can save themselves and their children. The super great words that are being parroted by the elite are inclusion, equality, sustainability, more inclusive, sustainable world. The white sheep totally believes these clear and obvious lies. Living this firsthand this week was quite an exercise of detachment for me. I'm very grateful to the divine for not only having an understanding of what is going on, but most importantly, having an understanding that the upcoming worldwide suffering has to happen in order to accomplish the evolutionary transformation of humanity and not the technological transformation that is being proposed by the Great Reset. The elite will be putting forward a lot of effort towards the children. Here is Grover resetting education with Sesame Street, October 2020. Yes, these young minds must be completely set straight from the start. After all, they are the future and will be the leaders in this brave new world. This is the new world order, simply redefined with a new label of the Great Reset. Klaus writes in his book, if no one power can enforce order, our world will suffer from a global order deficit. Think about the statement for just a minute. 
one power must be able to enforce order on all of humanity. And who gave this power to this one power? We just have to change the flag from a national flag to a UN flag. Biosecurity is the new form of governance with zero transparency for the ones at the top and complete and total transparency and total enslavement and surveillance for everyone else. Back to Klaus and his book. When confronted with it, some industry leaders and senior executives may be tempted to equate reset with restart hoping to go back to the old normal and restore what worked in the past. Traditions, tested procedures, and familiar ways of doing things. In short, a return to business as usual. This won't happen because it can't happen. For the most part, business as usual died, or at the very least was infected by COVID-19. This is not at all a great reset, but a transformation. Unfortunately, not at all the transformation the divine is preparing us for. And look at this. Yes, the COVID-19 transformation map. How effective these people are. Look at the detailed work which has been accomplished in such a short period of time. I suggest you go to this page just to get a sense of the scope of this work and the scale of the transformation that is taking place. The fact is that this map has been around since 2017. You can even watch the video Introducing Transformation Maps, World Economic Forum, August 31st, 2017. It is just the COVID node that has been added to this map since the crisis came about. This is clearly a pre-existing agenda. The technocracy, the fourth industrial revolution is now being put forward at an accelerated rate. The bottom line is, this is a transformation of humanity. It is not about a virus. You have been warned. This is a conspiracy. It is, however, an open conspiracy because it is not a law at all being deniable. You decide if out of fear you will surrender your soul and give yourself to them seeking their protection. It only remains for me to remind you that whoever gives up their freedom in exchange for security will lose them both and everything else. The solution is also not resistance which is what most awakened individuals are talking about. There is only one solution. I remember who I am. I must connect to my true self, my soul. Easy to say, not so easy to do. Please go into action now and make the choice between listening to your ego mendacious mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. I consult and offer tools so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. You can then evolve in consciousness more effectively.